why do you have psoriasis in the first place? It's been highly correlated with uh, low vitamin D levels. So you might want to start taking that. And let's say, for example, you take vitamin D and most people take like maybe, you know, a thousand milligrams or 2000 milligrams and they think, oh yeah, I'm, I'm good. But there's so many other things that can decrease the absorption of that vitamin D, like even genetic uh, yeah. weaknesses. I recently did a genetic test and I found my own weaknesses and and then also I had someone else would take it and they found they had a defect in their vitamin D receptor, which means the normal amounts are not going to even touch the vitamin D deficiency. So they had to take like 30 or 40,000 I used to make the, make the connection.